Hello, this is Bob Binder with the X-Rite Application Support Team. Today I'd like to take just a couple minutes and talk to you about soft proofing. One of the benefits of an ICC color managed workflow is the ability to preview on screen what our final printed output will look like. In order to do this, it's necessary for us to soft proof our image. And soft proofing is basically taking an image that we're working with applying the printer profile to it, and then displaying that image on screen using our monitor profile. I'm going to demonstrate this today using Photoshop. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is open up an image. And for today's demonstration, I happen to be using Photoshop CS5. And I've opened up an image of my dog, Claire, here. And as you can see, Claire has a a thing about jumping up into our kitchen sink. So I happened to snap a photo of this the other day. Now I'd like to do one more thing, and that is I want to overlay this image with a couple of solid saturated colors. So I'm going to start with a blue color, and I opened up this color palette here just to show you what I have. I have a color which is zero red, zero green, and 255 blue. So that's the most saturated blue color that we can have. And I'm going to fill that area with blue. I'm going to do just a couple more colors here. Let me make a fully saturated red color here. So again, I'm going to create a shape, grab my paint bucket tool and fill that shape. And let me do one more color here. I'm going to create a fully saturated green. this shape with that green color. Okay, so now we have a fully saturated red, a fully saturated green, and a fully saturated blue on the top of this image. Now those colors are as saturated as they can be. And the reason I've done this is, is that we all have some idea of what these fully saturated colors should look like. Now one of the problems here is that my interpretation of a fully saturated blue is probably slightly different than anyone else's interpretation of a fully saturated blue. So there's one potential pitfall. But when I look at this color, or I look at these colors, if I look at the blue, for example, it looks light to me, and it looks a little bit redder than what I expect this color to be. But the thing we have to remember at this point is that we have not yet soft proofed this image. So this image is not what we're going to receive on our final output. In order to do that, within Photoshop, if I move up to my menu bar, I'm going to click on the word View. And when I do that, I'll slide down to Proof Setup, which is the first option. I'm going to slide over to the right to Custom. I'm going to select that. And in the window that opens, you will notice I have a drop-down list here next to Device to Simulate. And in this case, it happened to open up to the printer that I'm going to print to, which in this case is a Canon. But let me show you this drop-down list. When I select this, it shows me a list of all the profiles I have on my system. And in my system, I have quite a number, and I suspect that you probably do as well. So I select the Canon, and now we're soft proofing on screen what this image is going to look like after I print it. This dialog box also has a preview checkbox, which I'm able to uncheck. And if I do so, now this is what the image will look like without soft proofing. When I check this box, again, now I see what it looks like after printing. Let me go back and forth here just a couple more times so that you can look at different areas in the image as I do so. You're going to definitely see some shifts in the image itself, uh, especially if you look in some of the vignetted tones here in the drapes. Uh, if you look at the blue, the blue gets much more dark and saturated, as does the green color. And again, I'll do this one more time. Let me uncheck it. So this is without the soft proofing applied. And I'll recheck it so you can see what it looks like with the soft proof. So again, one of the major benefits of an ICC color managed workflow 
is the ability to preview on screen what our final printed output would look like. But in order to see that, it's necessary to come in and soft proof our images. That's a pretty cool feature that Photoshop and all of the other major graphic applications have. So I would encourage you all to begin using this if you're not, and have a great day.